Back on the Pete the Planner show, I am the aforementioned Pete the Planner. It's uh, elbow wound week here at the Pete the Planner headquarters. Randomly throughout the week, I looked down on Monday, my, I have a wound on my elbow. I was like, I don't know how I got there. Looked down <laughs> Tuesday, later in the day, the other elbow now has a wound. What? Do you have like... I have no idea. I think I have tigers in my sleeves. I was going to say, it, or I was going to go with little elves that were chewing on your Sleeve elbows, tigers but... is my best guess. Uh, Nicole, it's time for biggest waste of money of the week. We've it's got two favorite. items, which we now have two items this year. Do you want high-end expensive item that that should be kind of expensive, but not as expensive as it is? Or do you want high-end item that should not near be nearly as expensive as it is? I think I just said the same thing. Let's just go in order for, that you got them pulled up. First is the Sony DMP ZI Z1 digital music player built to power high-end headphones and compatible with nearly every high-res audio format. The Sony DMP Z1 digital music player is obsessed with performance. The analog rotary volume control <laughs> is plated in both copper and gold to ensure signal purity, maximizing the performance of the dual Asahi Ooh. DACs. There's an independent power system with five battery cells providing separate <laughs> power to the digital and analog sections and uses uh, users. Typo oh. can switch between battery and AC power with the tap of a button. It supports native <laughs> DSD files. Up. Okay, there's you, there's a bunch of crap on it. I like it. how you went dinosaur arms with there if you're watching on Pizza Planner at TV. That's great. All right. Can you hear the cats and dogs raining outside? It has been raining cats and dogs for three days in a row here. My grass is looking good. All right. My car so do you so want to guess? Okay, so this is uh, it's a digital music system. Which sounds fake. It has so many letters in it. It sounds like an MP3 player it, if I'm not... Right? Yeah, you're right. I don't even know what it is. It's, I, I don't even know what it is. It's seven thousand eight hundred and eighty-five dollars. But what is it? I don't what does know it do? what it is. It's like, it's not even headphones. It's there's no speaker. Like, is it is it just storage? I don't know. No, it's a it's a digital music player signature series. Take your digital music collection to another level. So yeah, it's storage. It's seven thousand dollars for storage. When I could just get like an external hard drive. What in the world? I'm so confused. How much does it hold? Does it hold like one billion songs? This is a solution of a problem that doesn't exist. But, uh, 256 gig internal storage. My, have, my iPhone has that. I was going to say, I've got an external hard drive from Amazon that has more than that. <sighs> that's stupid. So, yeah, that's a giant waste yeah, of that's money. A, that's the biggest waste of money. $7,900 for an iPod. I'm buying the van that we talked about last you week. Were, you've been talking about that all week. I love that van. All right, next biggest waste of money of the week. And this one's just an old guy griping thing. <laughs> and we may have even talked about it on the show before. I don't know. When did coolers get so expensive? Right. What? Right. These are things I really don't understand. Okay, so when I was a kid, we had a Coleman cooler. Yeah, same. And it was one of those things that you like had to press the button on the yes. side and then pinch your finger yes. as you retracted the retractable top and then you put stuff in it and then you closed it. Yeah. And then like a few hours later, you reach in and you grab a, a, a juice barrel. Right. And you pull the foil back, yep. and it was cold enough. It was great. It did what it was supposed to, kinda. Now, cool every cooler anyone has or it's sells like you five thousand dollars, and like is battery powered, and you could yeah. charge five iPhones with it. Or I something. feel like the the marketplace has gotten to a place where they assume the consumer wants to transport harvested organs. I mean, which is in fair. the cooler. But I don't always need that option. We were in uh, Hilton Head a few weeks ago, and uh, oh, we were going to go out and, and, and hook some fish in the face, like in the ocean. Like, we're going to catch dinner. Like, I'm a man. I, we've talked about it. Yeah, it was great. And I was like, oh, we didn't have a cooler down there. And so I was like, well, le let's do this. We don't actually have a, a, a big cooler. I was like, well, let's go look at what a cooler would cost. Or if not, we'll just buy a styrofoam cooler. So I go, oh, let's look at this cooler. $300 for just a <gasps> cooler. And I'm what? like, styrofoam cooler, $399. Yep, there you go. Okay, so I'm Bye. looking at a Yeti Tundra yep. 210. Uh, they're kind of, I like the teal ones, but I don't understand I don't the hype. The outside shape of this thing, okay, everyone put your hands out. Yep. Uh, it's 25 
by 24 by 39. So I assume 39 is the length. So that's just over three feet. Mm -hmm. 25 by 24, that's the height and depth. Dude. So I could crawl in there and get comfy. I, we could store you in there. We could store me in there. $799. Oh my gosh. The refrigerator, Sarah, Mrs. Planner, as I should call her. Sorry, Mrs. Sarah. Hi, Mrs. Planner. Uh, the uh, refrigerator we bought at our first home in Fishers in the year 2000 mm -hmm. was $699, and you could plug it in. You, yeah, you can't plug this in. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can. And you could, st like, I don't get it. And I know, I know this is old man gripey, but like. No, I, I don't get it either. Why are we overvaluing cold storage now? I don't need to be able to have ice last for three weeks in my cooler. No music festival lasts that long, Pete. What was the breakthrough in technology that led to this point? Yeah, when did we get here? Is there Kevlar involved? <laughs> Like, I don't get it. And I'm, look, I'm not even joking at this point. Like, it bothers me because it's like, well, there's Yeti and then there's, there's now Coleman, who used to be like the old school cooler company. Now they've got a version called like the Glacial Frost. I don't know what they're called. You can't buy a cooler for less than a thousand million dollars now. That's a lot of dollars. I don't know. And then here's, the, here's what drives me even more bonkers. I was hoping we'd get here. Okay, so you got a cooler that keeps your stuff cold. Sick. How does that make you feel? Good? Cold? Does Chilly? it make you feel good enough to walk around in a Yeti hat? Now people yes. are putting stickers right. on the back of their yes. car that says Yeti, and it's like, what am I to take away from this knowledge? You overpay for cold storage? It's ma it makes me judge you. I'm already, I'm questioning your financial decisions. If I'm behind you in traffic and you have a Yeti bumper sticker, I don't go, you know, that person in front of me, they, they like cold stuff. I don't, I don't feel any better about you. I'm I, already associating them with other individuals who I know that, I, that have Yeti coolers that I uh, already think it's ridiculous. I assume that person doesn't recycle. Yep. I assume that... Uh, all sorts of terrible things about them, actually. Yeah, I kind of do too. Well, that, and then I just assume, and then kind of get offended when not every single piece of cold gear that they have is Yeti. I know. At what point is it like, well, we use the Yeti for us and the kids. We uh, just use the, the, the original Coleman. I guess, here's the oh, other thing. Oh, yeah? did one of our coworkers recently get a new uh, Yeti mug to put her coffee in? I believe so. Can we oh, go mock her? Yeah, we probably could. Get her on the show. Is she available? Who is it? <laughs> I don't don't say her name. You know who it is. I, I think I know. I, Not here, our straw queen. Oh, it's our coffee. Oh, so I know who it is. You know who it oh, is. Oh, I can't bring her on the show. She'll no. flip out. Yep. Um, <laughs> here, here's the thing, everybody, as we begin to wrap up the show for this week. I know they're amazing coolers. I know from a thermal, thermal, thermal uh, perspective. Thermal, thermal. They're amazing. They're, but I don't care. I just feel like that's overpaying for something that really doesn't matter that much. Now, if you're going on a camping trip and you're not going to have access to other forms of ice for five days, but look, the last time I looked, not everyone I know is going camping, yet everyone I know walks around in a Yeti trucker hat. Yeah. I feel Brand. better. I feel like that vent really helped. Yeah, good. I'm glad. And you know, that's possible. Like, I hate when stuff's too cold. If we're gonna get there, I want I my got teeth hurting. Your teeth, yeah. It's a big issue. And you know what? The handles on these things don't look like they would secure the top. They got like a little ball joint that you, you hook down with the rubber gilio. Yes. Actually, it's kind of impressive, but it's also really hard to undo the top of the lid then. But I've started working out since the last time that I tried one of those, so. I've never tried one. All right, that's it. That's all I got for the show. And it, it, here's the thing. This last rant was so bad, no one's even listening. Uh, I'm, we'll see you next week. And by see you, I mean, just you'll hear us. <gasps> That'll work. Uh, I'm sending you good vibes because good vibes are all that's in, in our show's budget. Why? Well, because of no advertisers because of the last segment. Like We lost the Yeti deal. Yeah. Even the Coleman deal at that point. Anyway, that's it. That's Nicole. I'm Pete. Thanks to Damien and Phil. Damien, of course, no relation. Phil. Yeah, he's a ginger. I'm Pete the Planner. See you.